Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been quite a while since I've seen you guys, and today we're playing SCRY because we got a brand new update. It's if you haven't already seen the title, SCR has updated to version 1.8, which means we got more stuff to see and we've got plenty of station upgrades. So let's get right in. So along with the video, I will be telling you more about what has upgraded and what has what is new to the upgrade. So first of all, today we're going to be reviewing the Whiteview branch, the Whitefield branch, I mean. The entire branch got an overhaul, actually not really overhaul, but it's got plenty of upgrades. And first of all, my favorite train in this game, the class 730, it's got an upgrade to a mesh model. So it's the other train I got, the class 720, but we're going to be using uh, this one today. So the new we're gonna be checking out white field, so let's do that. So the upgrade only really begins after High Stepford High Street. So I'm just gonna speed through this part and I'm gonna show you guys when we actually arrive at Stepford High Street. So we're just gonna time lapse this part. So here we go. Also, one more thing to added in the update is that you have to stop near the buffer. So you see, if I don't stop near the buffer, it doesn't allow me to terminate. So I have to go right as close as the buffer to as possible to be able to stop at this station. So we'll try to do that. Right here. See, right here it's quite close. We can actually terminate at this station. So there is one new thing and now we're continuing to white field to check out the brand new branch and over there we have a class 68 passing by also terminating at the station Oh yeah, while we're at Stafford East, this station got slight, a slight upgrade, it got a little bit of a facelift and as you can see over here, we've got this Stafford East entrance and on the other side, we have a little bit of a better entrance and a concourse area and of course the general update would be the new ticket gates right here. So let's go to High Street. And we are off from High Street. Let's go. So from here onwards, there has been upgrades al along the branch. On One of which, which you could have noticed, is the new pentagraph holder thingies. So those have been upgraded along this branch only as well. We will shortly be arriving. And the next station we're going to be visiting is Whitefield Lido. A little bit about this station, before the update it had 3 platforms. Now it is down to 2 and it is elevated. So we are going to be stopping here and we're going to check out the station a little bit. So let's just get a nice stop. Nice. So let's check out the station. Alright, so we have just arrived at... What is this Whitefield Lido? And we're gonna check out this station here. So as you can see, it's elevated. And we're at Whitefield Lido right here. So we're gonna just walk through this station. So yes, see it's over here. Some really nice some lights. Because especially it's night time. So let's get on over. Also, we have speakers over here for the platform announcers when the train is arriving or when the train is being cancelled. 
So a little nice waiting area in here. You can see the next train coming at 3.20. So there's also this on the other platform over there. You can see that. So let's go down. Also we have lift over here that, wow, doesn't work. So let's go down this nice little staircase. Wait if you lead over here and we're gonna check out the scenery a little bit and one more thing to add to all the all the stations is this new ticket machine you can see really nice you can press your amount in and you can get your tickets and right beside we have whitefield lido if you don't know lido is like a public pool so i can swim i guess let's go check out on the other platform Also, it has some nice bicycle racks over here. You can park your bicycle here if you have any when you're riding the train. Also, a lift over here. And a waiting room. And also right here, we have the brand new ticket machine. Alongside, alongside this here. You buy your tickets here. And when you enter the station, you scan your ticket right here so that you can board on the train. This is due to a member of the train crew. So that's all for this station. See you guys at Stafford United Football Club. Okie dokie, hop, hop on board the train. We are going to be leaving Whitefield Lido for the next station. SUFC, Stafford United Football Club. So right here you see Welcome there is upgrade. Stafford it goes downwards. And into the this little bit of a underground UFC. trench thingy so it goes slightly below the surface through all these new nice buildings that have been placed around here and also the tunnel right here we will shortly be arriving and we're popping up back UFC. to Stepford United the Football Club now one thing they the changed about this station is before the update, the terminating platforms were right in between the through running platforms. So in this update, they changed it to be on the side instead of right in the middle. So that these train services could just operate normally through the station. So, more look on the update right now. And here we are at Stepford United Football Club with its brand new station. And it kind of feels like a downgrade. But... I get it, they just want to make it, they just want to have more space for, Platform four for the 0320 as to hear the new announcer. Service to Stepford Central. So we're going to check out the station first. So very well done, they have made it a step free access, so we have ramps instead of staircases. And we have a little bit of a boost over here, really nice, really nice. So let's go on over to check out that exit first, yeah? So all the platforms have ramp access, which is really nice. And we'll go out this way. Ticket machines over here. And this ticket scanner here. Rubbish bin on the pole. So all the platforms are right about the same. We have some newspaper places here. Nice grey benches. Quite different from the blue ones we usually have. Some merch for the Stafford United Football Club, SUFC. So yeah, and one more thing is over here. So if you have if you haven't watched my guard training videos, you won't know that the guard trainings all happen at Stafford United Football Club. So what basically what it does? Quick summary for those who haven't watched it. You basically will have to line up right here at Stafford United Football Club, and the host. Those who will be doing the meeting and those who will be assessing you will be right here. And basically, SUFC is the place for guard trainings. Now, back onto the other side of the station. Alright, so over here on the other side of the station, we also have this ticket scanner machines and an information board. Also over here is the Stafford United Football Club. A lot of parking spaces for fans to come and watch. But I don't think we can enter here. Yep, we can't enter, but this is the stadium. 
that people will come here and watch the football games. Then yeah, I think that's all about it for this station. Let's move on to the next station. Let's go. Alright, back on board the train. We are leaving for the next station, which is... Woodhead Lane. So see right here, we have new pentagraph folders, and we still have the Woodhead Lane TMDs, Train Maintenance Depot, still serving both directions, northbound and southbound. Nice looking tree right here. Also apologies for filming this in the morning where it's still pretty dark but over here you can see the distance there we have fields yeah we and we're gonna be approaching the station so let's slow down a little bit woodhead lane has got an upgrade it is now the second station after ashland park we have completely non-parallel stations also in this update we have this class 720 and 730 stop markers. Alright, so we are here at Woodhead Lane with its non-parallel platforms. So we are here at Woodhead Lane just getting off the station. And we have this nice jagged platform design. I don't know what it's called. Kind of forgot about it. But right here, it's basically yeah and also right here we have the new class 720 class 730 stop marker if if you didn't see it when we were on the train so same here ticket ticket machine information board and you basically have to go past the road crossing to get to the other other platform right here so same thing on the other side and that's pretty much everything here so back on the train and we're going on to the next station all aboard the doors are closing and we are going to be off to the next station which will be Houghton Rake so let's go check that out Welcome go faster a little bit so we have nice little buildings dotted around oh and we have a little tunnel as well you can see the lights of our train projecting onto the tunnels, lighting it up. Oh, let's slow down a little bit in the Houghton Rake. So Houghton Rake didn't really get much of an upgrade, but let's stop here. Anyways. Wow, it's quite empty around here. <laughs> so we're going to terminate at Whitefield next. So let's go. So right here, we have Whitefield Station. And also upgrade to Whitefield Sidings. It only serves trains going to Stepford Central and Beachley. So no trains will terminate at Whitefield if you're spawning in from the sidings. So and also Whitefield got a pretty nice station upgrade. So we're definitely gonna check that out as well in this video. So let's just stop right here as close to the buffer as we can. There we go, alongside with the new Actually, not really new, but we have the Watt this Plus 170 one beside us. This train terminates here. All so let's go and check out this station, and, and we will finish off the video there once the, we tour the station. So let's go. So here we are at Whitefield, which is the last stop. We didn't see uh, Houghton Rake, I believe, because it, the station looked right about the same. All it is is just step free access to the station. So we're not going to visit that. We're going to be checking out Whitefield instead, which got a whole new station upgrade. So let's go all the way to the end to take a look at this. 
so this is how the station looks like really nice so this is where we terminated at platform 3 right beside the class 170 which is there for decoration so let's go at this so of course it's brand new ticket gates if you haven't already known and this is a nice station with shops pizza by billy maddie studio studio <laughs> nice name so you also have these benches over here you can sit down and wait for your train let's go out so Whitefield Station over here, really nice. And over on this side, we have parking spaces for people who drive cars. But if they drive cars, they wouldn't want to ride the train, but whatever. So they can park the cars here, just right outside the station. So we can go in here, I see. And we have the other, other exit here, really nice gives us access into the station as well to board the trains here also leads to a building which we don't know what it is okay. we've went to every station on the whitefield branch except for the those those without much upgrades so i suppose we have come to the end of the video we are going to be checking out the Leighton branch next with Leighton City and Leighton West. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!